Welcome to Countants. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to solve for payment or PMT as well as total interest using the financial calculator, the BA2 plus Texas instrument. So how do we do this? Well, let's first look at our question. We have one example here and we are told that Jack would like to apply for a mortgage loan of 600,000 rand from the bank at a rate of 11% per annum compounded monthly over a period of 20 years. We are asked two questions. One is what will his monthly payments be on this loan? And the second one is how much interest will he have paid by the end of 20 years? Okay, so if we know time value of money, that's the first thing that we have to do to input all the elements of time value of money. Okay, and as usual, we want to make sure that we clear our calculator or reset the memory of our calculator. So we press second function, plus slash minus and enter. And then we just press C slash C to clear our screen. Okay, now we can begin we know that it's for 20 years and we also know that it's, that it's compounded monthly so that's the first thing we want to make sure that our calculator is also compounded monthly by default the calculator is compounded annually meaning one time per year if it's compounded monthly it has to be 12 times per year so we need to change the compounding from its default of once per year to 12 times per year how do we do that we press second function and then we press i slash y you can see on top it's written p slash y which stands for payments per year so second function i slash y okay and then it's asking us what is the payments per year well we know it's compounded monthly so we put that 12 okay and then we press enter and you can see p slash y equals to 12. if you press the downward arrow again you can see c slash y which is the compoundings per year equals to 12 as well so that's good so i press c slash c to clear my screen now I can do the calculations. I know it's for 20 years. So that's the first thing I put. I put the number 20 and then I just don't press N as yet. Okay. Cause I know it's compounded monthly. So I have to make sure that I also put that in. So I press the number of years, which is 20 and I press second function and then I press N. Okay. And what that does is that it takes the number of years and it multiplies it by the number of compoundings per year, which we change in the calculator to 12 times per year. And then I press N again to confirm. And you can see here it's written N equals or the number of compoundings, the number of compounding periods equals to 240. So that's good. So I press the number of years, you press second function, you press N, and then you press N again to confirm. Now that we've done that, we just need to put the interest rate. We are told it's 11%. So I press 11 and then I press I slash Y. Okay. And then the mortgage loan that you're applying for is 600,000 Rand. So we put in the, num the, the amount 600,000. Okay. And obviously it's a mortgage loan. You will receive this money today. Okay. For him to buy the property he wants to buy. So I press that as PV. Okay. Present value, the 600,000 Rand. And what do I want? Now I want the PMT because I'm asked how much what will his monthly payments be on this loan okay so one the payments that will be recurring every month so i press compute or cpt the very first button on the top left okay and then i press pmt and there we go it has given me the payment he will have to pay or the monthly payments he will have to make on this loan six six thousand one hundred and ninety three and thirteen cents okay we've answered the first question how much the payments need to be the second question is how much interest will he have paid by the end of 20 years. So he wants to know if I'm going to be paying this mortgage loan, if I'm going to be paying it back for the next 20 years every month, how long will it, how much interest will I have paid by the end of 20 years? Okay, so let me clear my screen, C -ish slash C. Now for me to do that, I will need to go to amortization, which is very easy as well. I just press second function, and then I press here where it's written PV. You can see on top it's written AMO. RT, which stands for amortization. Okay. And then this one, this screen comes up where it's showing you P1 equals. So it's asking you from what period do you want to what period? Okay. So obviously want to start from period one and bear in mind that period one is not year one. It's month one. Okay. So we have to know how many months it is in that 20 years. Okay. So obviously we saw it earlier. It's 20 years times 12, which is 240. So we want it from first month from month one. And then we press the downward arrow where we see P2 and then we put 240. Okay. And then I press enter. So what I've told the calculator he here is I want to see what it is from period one or from month one all the way to month 240, which is the entire 20 years. If I only wanted to see for the first 12 months, 
or for the next 12 months or the, for the first five years, I will need to put that as period one and then period two as well by the number of months I want. Okay, but I want the entire lifetime of the long, which is 20 years, which is 240 months. Okay, now that I've done that, I press the downward arrow again and you can see it's showing me the balance. How much do I still owe on this loan? It's just showing you 37 cents. Obviously, by the end of 240 months, you have finished paying your mortgage loan. You press the downward arrow again. This is the principal, the PRN, showing you the principal that you have completed paying by the end of 240 months, which is 599,999 rand. Obviously, rounding off to 600,000. So you've completed paying off the principal of the loan. And then if you press the downward arrow again, showing you the interest you have paid. Look at it. It's 886,351.57. You can see that the interest payment on this mortgage loan is way higher than the principal payment on the loan. So the money you borrowed, you're paying way more than that just for the interest. Okay. And that is the power of compounding. Okay. And then obviously if I press the download error again, it takes me back to the beginning, the period one. So we have seen the interest he has paid. Okay. We asked how much interest will he have paid by the end of 20 years. And you can see that it's 896,000 rand. Okay. I hope it has made sense. I hope you now know how to apply this in this financial calculator, the Texas instrument and how to do the amortization. If you have gained value from this lesson, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.